it doesn't get much more scientific than this. An MRI machine inside the University of Utah's Imaging and Neurosciences Center, but inside that brain, scientists are seeing something maybe not so scientific. The particular experience we're interested in is what is termed uh, feeling the spirit. The science of the spirit, a crossroads of two things that for some could not be farther apart. You do see that there's some pushback um, between um, people, science and, and religion. From the creation of Earth to the evolution of mankind, for centuries it seems humans have been choosing sides, science or scripture. But a team of Utah researchers have spent the last two years studying the brain and where it appears the two might intersect. Billions of people find meaning and frame important decisions in terms of religious experience. And surprisingly, we know very little about what happens in the brain when people have religious and spiritual experiences. And in order to find out, scientists had to find a group of participants who could feel spiritual in a very scientific setting. An MRI machine. It gets a bad rap for being loud and artificial and forbidding, but you know, it's a very private place. You can be alone with your thoughts. Dr. Jeff Anderson and his team found the perfect group of guinea pigs, returned LDS missionaries. It's a period of, of years of focused training on exactly what we needed. All right, here we go. Which is to identify, am I feeling a spiritual experience right now? For Ariel Peterson, an LDS mission on Temple Square and a lifetime of religious beliefs made her a perfect candidate. The spirit is, um, a it's an entity to me that you have to be in tune with and you have to be sensitive to. Strapped in and surrounded by the MRI machine, yeah. participants like Ariel were asked to pray, recall special spiritual experiences from their past, read quotes and watch videos, all of it designed to help them ignore the hum and hone in on their feelings. There were some distinct times where I was able to tune in and really feel it very strongly. During the series of exercises, participants were asked to push a button when they were feeling the spirit strongly. I remember pushing that button and saying yes, and felt very strong. So I honestly was surprised to myself that it was a, I was able to have those experiences while in a machine. And she wasn't alone. Across four separate experiments, we independently saw the same regions of the brain activated. Um, a series of, of different regions of the brain, a network. Scan after scan showed the same regions of the brain firing when participants reported feeling the spirit. A neurospiritual network tied to the nucleus accumbens, the reward center of the brain. The same area stimulated by motherly love, romantic love, appreciation of nature or music, winning at gambling, and addiction to drugs. You know, that's exactly what you would expect. A lot of people um, describe their, their practice of religion as, as very rewarding. So it would make sense that we would see activation in the reward network of the brain. We put in the, the term reward, this is the part of All right, so what does it all mean? The blue, the red, the mysteries of the mind. Now, understanding the results might depend on which side you choose, like for a religious believer. They would think, well, of course, these experiences activate the reward network. They're rewarding experiences. You can see that, you know, my, my brain is um, responding to something very special. And other people might see classical conditioning. But there are no sides when it comes to the science itself. Religious scientists or non-religious scientists can look at this and say, yep, we saw activation in these regions. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your background is that's still a fact. So uh, what they make of that, um, where they go with that is, is a little bit more up for uh, interpretation. But, but again, the data are the data. And that data of religious experiences could have implications across a wide array of scientific study. The research team wants to study other religious faiths and better understand what could be a brain network that connects all believers. To see how much common ground there is in, in the brain. The research is only just the beginning, and who knows? Perhaps what scientists found inside here will show the world there's not much different about all of us on the inside.